Let's think now about the causes of death in people with diabetes. What is it these patients die from? Well, in the old days, before insulin was available, people would die from ketoacidosis with type 1 diabetes. Death would be quite quick. But now, because we're treating the diabetes, we're maintaining these patients for long periods of time. But they can still develop long-term complications. And the main long-term complication that increases mortality in patients with diabetes is macrovascular disease. That is disease of the large blood vessels. They get atherosclerosis. So most patients with diabetes unfortunately die from cardiovascular disease. Probably about 70% of them die with cardiovascular disease. But if we can control the diabetes well, and if we can recognize the diabetes at an early stage, we can delay this process. And this is particularly the case with type 2 diabetes that can go undiagnosed for weeks, months, years even, without being diagnosed. But all the time that it's un undiagnosed, the diabetic pathological processes are ongoing in the patient's body, contributing towards the development of atherosclerosis. And we've already noticed, in fact, that about 25% of patients diagnosed with type 2 diabetes have already developed some long-term complication of the condition. So catch these patients early, treat them effectively, postpone the cardiovascular disease. But nevertheless, 70% of these patients are probably going to die from atherosclerosis, particularly in the coronary arteries, leading to ischemic heart disease. Now, renal failure is another complication of diabetes. These patients get diabetic nephropathy affecting the kidneys. So some patients go on and die from renal failure or the complication of renal failure. Now, only about 10% of patients with diabetes actually die from cancer, which is significantly lower than in the general population. It's not that diabetes is protecting them from cancer, it's that unfortunately they've probably already died of the cardiovascular disease because the incidence of cancer, as you know, increases with increasing age. Infections are a problem in diabetics. They are more prone to infections for various reasons. So some patients can get infections and the, these can be terminal infections. So in patients with diabetes, we need a high index of suspicion for local infections and systemic infections. And we need to treat these early and we need to treat them aggressively. Diabetic ketoacidosis, thankfully, in the Western countries only accounts for 1% of deaths, although tragically this is still a common cause of death in less developed countries where insulin supplies are not as reliable. So causes of death in people with diabetes. The most common is cardiovascular diseases because of the atherosclerosis of the larger arteries, particularly the coronary arteries. Renal failure from diabetic nephropathy. Some still die of cancer. Infections are an increased risk. Diabetic ketoacidosis. Thankfully, we don't see as long as we've got a good supply of insulin. And just to complete the statistics, about 3% of patients die from various other conditions. So recognize diabetes early, treat it efficiently, and let's preserve life for longer in more of these patients. Give them longer life and better quality of life by early recognition and your good management of their diabetes.